screen with a six pack but that's what we're looking at today we're looking at this video 15 unexpected things you will only see in brazil now um the thumbnail had a massive snake on so that's interesting so uh yeah don't know what this is about i mean it's kind of obvious what it's about but i haven't seen anything about it I guess it's just gonna be crazy stuff that happens in Brazil or you only see in Brazil. This is a very long video, so yo, let's just get straight into uh this reaction. Then do things in small doses. Yup, this awesome South American country is larger than life, which is why millions of tourists flock to Brazil every year to soak up the Carnival. culture and see the incredible sights. If you want a vacation like no other, brush up on your Portuguese and book yourself a ticket to the biggest country in South America. Hey yo, bro! I'm trying, okay? It is not that easy to just learn Portuguese, especially with a brain this small, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of something to say. <laughs> no other. Brush up your Portuguese and book yourself a ticket to the biggest country in South America. From beautiful floating oh, islands this to the world's awful. most famous and fabulous time. carnival, these are the 15 unexpected things you will only see in Brazil. Brazil. Sorry. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. What about me? <laughs> subscribe. Okay. Number Hello. 15. Let's go. Anaconda Crossing. While the Netherlands has built bridges for their rabbits to cross highways, and India waits patiently for holy cows to cross the road, in Brazil, They've got a whole other beast on their hands. Yup, Brazilians have been sharing their street with what? giant green anacondas for years. These mega serpents are- Yo, whenever I talk about snake, whenever someone's talking about snakes, bro, I'm just looking around the floor because, yo, snakes <sighs> are one of the largest snakes what? on earth. That's, That's a right. freaking- This is not just a freak occurrence that happens from time to time. Can you even In call fact, that a it's snake? A routine That's occurrence. Huge. Imagine cruising down the road in your car and seeing one of these bad boys slithering right across your path. So if you thought sitting in traffic was one of the worst things that could happen on your daily commute, think again. This gigantic 10-foot well, snake like, was trying to car. jaywalk, <laughs> or should we say jay slither, when people began to get out of their cars to halt incoming traffic and alert drivers of the huge reptile. Thanks to the help of these thoughtful onlookers, so the it's like snake a freaking, reached his final destination safely. It's like the he boss. heard of a zebra crossing, but never an anaconda it's the boss. crossing. What would you do if you saw this enormous snake coming towards you? Would you get out of your vehicle or no. just drive as far away as possible? I would Let us swear. know what you think in the comments. Number 14. So that's the snake that was on the phone now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's no snakes like that in England, bro. There's no snakes. When I come into Brazil, I've got to get ready for, to, for my eyes to see stuff like that. But um, I don't know what I would do if I saw that in real life. I would... I, 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 yeah, let's just not think about that. The tallest water slide in the world. This crazy water slide is really? as high as a 14-story building. That's right. This Brazilian ride is for the most extreme thrill seekers only. The famous Insano water slide sends people flying down a near vertical drop, reaching Whoa. speeds of up to 65 miles per hour. It's truly one Jesus. of a kind, and something you wouldn't experience anywhere else. Despite being 134 feet tall, the ride is over and done with in just five seconds. Imagine lining up for this water slide all afternoon just for it to last a mere seconds. It must be really worth it. The notorious water slide was I built do like in 1989 and holds the official Guinness World Record for the highest water slide on Earth. So, where can you find this free-falling tower of terror? That would be the famous Beach Park, located in Aquirais, Brazil. Amazing, right? Would any of you guys ever ride this terrifying water slide? Number oh, yeah. 13. Bro, 
fisherman. I, sh I shouldn't be pausing at this much. I love water slides, bro. Brazil's got water slides like that. I'm gonna be coming to Brazil even faster, bro. And, and Dolphin Alliance. In Laguna, Brazil, dolphins have formed a very unlikely and totally unique alliance with the local fishermen. Dolphins That's right. are freaking This symbiotic legends. relationship has been going on for over 30 years, and both parties are uh. interested in one thing and one thing only, mullets. We aren't talking about the awesome hairstyle, though. Oh. <laughs> We're, of course, talking about the delicious fish. So how does it all work? Well, groups of up to 20 bottlenose dolphins work together to herd the schools of mullet fish towards the shore, where the Brazilian fishermen wait with their nets. The fishermen can't see the fish in the cloudy Laguna waters, and so the dolphins will slap their heads and fins against the waves to signal to their human buddies when it's time to cast their nets out. This thrashing motion also works to break up the mullet fish into smaller groups, making them easier to catch. Pretty amazing, right? These fishermen are dependent on these epic dolphins to help them make their living, and elder dolphins will even teach the young dolphins how to help the fishermen catch mullet. It's like something straight out of a Disney Pixar movie. We always knew that dolphins were the most awesome of the sea creatures. Where else in the world would this ever happen? Only in Brazil. Have you ever seen anything quite like this before? Num I love dolphins. I've always loved do dolphins are just amazing. I mean, rest in peace to the fish, but like, I love dolphins, man. For 12, police riding buffaloes. For over 25 years now, no. this unusual mode of transport Yo, has been the preferred choice for police in the way of that. near the Amazon River Delta. The rough terrain in the region has always Look been a problem, freaking... but the cops here oh. don't rely on quad bikes or jeeps. Instead, they've adopted the Asian water buffalo in order to get from A to B. But why buffaloes? Well, the because they're freaking simple. scary. They move faster through water and swamps than any other form of transport. And on the Amazon River island of Marajo, northern Brazil, it isn't just the police that make use of the area's huge buffalo population. You can also try a delicious scoop of buffalo ice cream, a slice of buffalo cheese, or even a juicy buffalo steak. Oh, that does look yummy though, bro. pretty much worships the buffalo, and there are reports of up bro. to a million of the furry horned creatures living on the island. The local legend states that a freight ship carrying the exotic Asian water buffalo crashed on the coast here in 1890. Those are some scary animals, bro. If I'm seeing police riding them coming up to me, I am freezing. I am not running away, bro, because I am not getting a horn, a horn going into me, bro. And the ones that made it out of the shipwreck and onto the dry land multiplied, making this island the official oh, wow. second home for the water buffalo. We've got to admit, it this is one into of seriously cool methods of transport, and a vehicle with fearsome horns is infinitely more impressive than a regular car. Yes. But what do you guys think? Scary, man. Number 11. Meeting Sausage. of Waters where the Rio Negro and Rio Solimon rivers meet up to form the lower Amazon River. Not real An life, amazing but... natural phenomenon has occurred. It goes by the name That's The Meeting crazy. of Waters, and it really is something special. A unique blend of different speeds, temperatures, and densities creates a spectacular visual display that lasts for six kilometers. The awesome sight is so significant that it can be viewed from space. While the Rio Negro River is a dark black color due to the plant material it picks up through the jungles of Colombia, the Rio Solomuish is a paler brown color due to the sediment it collects as it flows from the Andes Mountains. That's crazy. And color is not the only difference. The Negro River is faster flowing, while the Solimoish flows at a slower pace. Not only that, but there is a big temperature difference between the two as well. All these irreconcilable differences mean that when the two rivers finally clash in Brazil, their waters simply cannot merge together. It's a huge attraction Whoa. for tourists who travel from all over the globe. I want to go and see that up close because that is crazy. That is like a... That's mad, bro. That's mad stuff. To witness this incredible force of nature. What? Just another reason why Brazil is such a unique and fascinating country. We'd love to take a boat trip to the meeting of waters. So is that like, is that like really shallow on the brown bit? I don't know. And you? Number 10, feijoada, the national dish of Brazil. This is one plate of food that really represents the country perfectly. 
It's hearty, strong in flavor, and not for the weak. This adaptable bean stew was served uh. everywhere in Brazil, from fine dining restaurants to street vendors, and Brazilians can't get enough of this meaty dish. Yep. Okay, these ads at the bottom, they need to leave us alone, man. Feijoada is the official taste of Brazil. The word feijo means bean in Portuguese, and the core ingredient of this unique dish is, of course, the black bean, which is then stewed over a low heat with salted pork, beef, and smoked sausage. We really want to sample a bowl of this soul food. And if you don't have your plane ticket to Brazil booked yet, then hopefully you will run into one or two expat Brazilians selling this delicious delicacy at international food markets around the world. I Number mean, it looks scary, but it looks really nice. Like, I would eat that, bro. I know Brazilians, they're kind of known for their food. They have a lot of really cool, interesting, unique foods that we don't have in here in England, bro. I've seen it. But, uh, yo, I can't, I can't wait to try Brazilian food. And I'm going to make a video on it soon. I just need to get my hands on some Brazilian food. But, um, yo, we move. That is interesting. That is really interesting, bro. International food markets Beans. around the world. Number nine. Nine. The world's largest cashew tree. Can you imagine one cashew. giant tree that feels like an entire forest? It might sound unbelievable, Whoa. but it's totally real. Yep, the O Mayor Cajuero do Mundo is the world's largest cashew tree, and it produces one of the world's most delicious nuts. We love cashew Sorry. nuts, so we would definitely want to check out this enormous and abundant tree, tree if we were ever to visit Brazil. That's a freaking whole forest! Are you crazy? Wow! Wow, 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 wow. A huge sprawling what? canopy envelopes wow. the walkways surrounding this miraculous plant, and it has multiple trunks that spread That's across one two whole tree. acres. You can find this beloved cashew tree nearby the beautiful Parangi Beach on Brazil's coast, and it's now a popular tourist attraction after entering the Guinness World Records in 1994. There's no Have way! Have you ever seen a tree quite like this before? No! Number 8. The Fire... How is a tree looking like that, bro? I don't freaking know what is that! Friendly plant. It doesn't get any more unexpected than this. We've heard of life-saving plants in the Amazon, but what about a flower that comes back from the dead after a devastating wildfire? Yep, we've what? heard a lot about raging forest fires in Brazil over the last couple of years, but did you know that there's a unique flower in Brazil that actually springs into life straight after a fire has passed? No. Yeah, just one day later, this hardy little plant experiences a super bloom, and it's stunning. Obosus paradoxa is a Brazilian plant that has adapted to wildlife in the most astonishing way. While trees in the area are raised and destroyed, the fighter flower survives and thrives. They can be found in the awesomely biodiverse savanna lands in the Cerrado in wow. Brazil and are just one of the tens of thousands of amazing and unique species that live in the South American biome. We've said it before and we'll say it again. There's nowhere quite like Brazil. Yeah, I know. Number Brazil has so many crazy, like, unique things. Like, so freaking many. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Like, there's so many things in Brazil that, like, just don't happen anywhere else. Like, Brazil was its own freaking Brazil world. doesn't do things. Yo, oh, bro, what, what happened? What the hell happened, man? American biome. We've set number seven, Mount Roraima, the triple border. How on earth has a famous movie not been filmed here yet? This exquisite location is by far one of the most interesting border points in the world. Okay, yeah, Brazil, you did. Yeah. We get it, okay? We get it. You're freaking awesome, okay? the clouds so low or is it just because the hill's really high dividing that's not a hill that's a, 
That's just a cliff. Brazil from Guyana and... Okay, that is absolutely crazy. That is c c c crazy, bro. Venezuela, Mount Roraima rests in between the three countries and is the highest of the Pocoraima mountain chain in South America. Isn't it stunning? Not yeah. only is it breathtaking, but it's also one of the oldest geological formations on the entire planet, dating back to about 2 billion years ago. Whoa, indigenous people in the area had a deep respect for this mountainous sandstone plateau, which they believed was an ancient tree stump, felled from a gigantic tree that held all of the fruit and vegetables in the world. When it was chopped down by trickster Makunaima, it is said that the epic tree crashed to the earth and caused a devastating flood. Today, traveling really? backpackers and climbers scale the Whoa. mammoth triple bordered mountain and scientists rush to the spot to discover new isolated species that have thrived on this unique and barren rock surface. What a truly amazing place. Mount that is absolutely nuts. See, this video is just showing me that there's so, uh, there's so many different places and things I want to see in Brazil. Like there's so freaking many and this video is just showing them to me even more, bro. Jesus! Roraima is another jewel of Brazil. Number five. That is a so jewel. what does the average beach scene beach. in Brazil look like? Brazilian beaches oh, really shake the beaches. There's tanning and sunbathing to be seen. I'm sorry, I don't know. I've always said that. I don't know what's <laughs> thing, Just like anywhere else in the world, However, there is something quite different about the beach bum lifestyle here that makes Brazil so special. Brazilian beaches, Being athletic bro. in Brazil is just a normal way of life. So whether it's dancing, football, futsal, MMA, or volleyball, practically every Brazilian person possesses at least some basic skills in one of those sports. If wow. you love soccer or football, then you will already know what an incredible reputation Brazil has on the world playing field. Yes, After sir. All, they're the only country to have ever won oh, five World Cup stops. titles. Yep. Brazil and football. Brazil and football are good, basically. <laughs> but Brazil have had some of the, well, they've literally had, in some, like a lot of people's opinions, the best players to ever live, bro. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, they're the only country to have ever won five World Cup titles. Yep, when the World Cup comes around every four years, most Brazilians are even allowed to work part-time or not at all in order to catch the Brazil games. Okay, Whoa. we'll admit it, we are kind of jealous. It's not only ball games like soccer and volleyball that the Brazilians excel in. Nope, martial arts such as capoeira and jiu-jitsu are a way of life in Brazil, and keeping fit and healthy in general is super important in this South American country. We can't think of another country that is more fitness obsessed. What about you guys? Number. I always knew Brazil is a very like sporty country, but my man, Mike, this guy said literally everybody plays sport or like has some form of like exercise. Like all Brazilians I see are pretty fit, bro. <laughs> bro. USA and England can't really relate. Nah, not as much sport going on there, bro. <laughs> the in general is super important in this South American country. We can't think of another country that is more fitness obsessed. What about you guys? Number Brazilian four. beaches, man. Oh. Floating Island, Iguazu oh. Falls. Oh, no, On this. the border of the Argentine province of Misiones this. and the Brazilian state. Every time I see this waterfall, my brain has an explosion. Bro. State of Paraná, there is a natural wonder that rivals all others that in the is world. Absolutely from the Guarani or Tupi words, Y, meaning water, and Guasu, meaning big. Iguazu literally translates to big water. And it doesn't come much bigger than this. Yep, this legendary Iguazu Falls may be one of the most beautiful waterfalls on the entire planet, but it's also the largest waterfall system in the entire world. It completely dwarfs Niagara Falls as Iguazu measures in at a Whoa. whopping 269 feet compared to Niagara's height of 165 feet. We didn't think it would. I'm literally gonna have to stay in Brazil for like. 10 years just to see all this stuff, bro. What? Brazil, man. 
It was even possible to outshine Niagara Falls with its 275 distinct falls and large floating Damn. islands that exquisite South American waterfall that system is, is like nowhere else on Earth. We think that it looks Adult like a location there, bro, straight out of a thrilling adventure movie. How yes. did Brazil get so lucky? We really want to go and check this phenomenal waterfall out. What do you guys think of the Iguazu Falls? Uh, I want to go there right Number now, bro. Number three, Carnaval. Oh. Does your hometown host a carnival? Well, you might as well Brazil forget about your local bro. festivals, dance parties, and street fests because the truth is that... I've actually been trying to react to some Brazil carnival for my channel, but there isn't many, like, videos on YouTube, and some of them are risky to react to because of copyright. Because I think some of them are on Globo TV and you can't react to Globo TV, bro. Too much copyright. My channel can get deleted for that, bro. But yo, I really want to react to some carnival and just see what it's like because England, we do have carnivals, but they're on a much lower scale, bro. Much lower scale. Get about your local festivals, dance parties, and street fests hey, because the truth is that nothing really compares to Brazil's carnival scene and even more specifically, the Rio Carnaval. Yep, it's the party to end all parties and the hottest carnival in the entire world. Wow. You just can't beat it. This insane bash first began way back in 1723 in the week Whoa. running up to Lent. <laughs> And it's gone from strength to strength ever since. Loud, colorful costumes, banging music, and millions of party-loving people all combined in this legendary Samba Drone Marque de Sapucay venue, and the atmosphere is always totally Jesus. electric. That isn't even half of it. Outside the Samba Drone, over 300 street parties take place, bringing the whole city to life. This is one party where everyone is invited, including the rest of the world. If you ever dreamed of traveling to Brazil, then the beginning of each calendar year really is the best time to go out and get a true Brazilian experience. Bring your best feathered headdress and we'll meet you at the Samba. Oh, look at that. That just reminds me of like white chocolate. <laughs> I love white chocolate, bro. <laughs> Yo, that is freaking cool, though, bro. That is absolutely nuts. This Brazil carnival, I've already seen it. I've, I, don't, I mean, I said I haven't reacted, but obviously I've seen... Well, I can see it here as well. I have seen some clips of the Brazil carnival. And it is so much on... Like, just that. It's so much on a bigger scale than carnivals in England, bro. Like, ah, ah, Brazil. Brazil, 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 Brazil. They're on another level. On another level. Padrão. Number two. Capoeira. Get ready for a martial this, art like no other, a fighting dance that has evolved over the decades and centuries, stemming okay. from the rich cultural diversity and forming Brazil from over four Don't different Don't fight continents. a Brazilian, bro. It's thought to have Jesus. originated in the 16th century as a method of fighting and self-defense used by enslaved Africans and disguised as a dance. Nowadays, this art is a phenomenon all over the world, but Brazil is still the home of Capoeira. The Jenga, a rocking step, is at the center of this complex dance, keeping the capoeira in a constant state of motion while they fight in the rota, which is a circle formed of singers and musicians that provide the rhythm for the capoeira match. Yet there's no other discipline quite like the unique art of capoeira, and it's been an important part of the Brazilian culture for centuries now. If you want to give it a go, then you don't have to travel to South America, as there are lots of schools all over the world where you can get- They can fight! They can freaking fight, bro! Yo, I want to learn this, bro. I've always wanted to learn something like that, bro. I mean, I, I, I guess I used to do karate, but this involved but if you want to get right to the heart of this awe-inspiring martial art you simply must head to its birthplace in brazil for the true capoeira experience that guy's freaking ninja number one what is it what's it gonna be bro what's it gonna be passions for the forest as much as we've heard stories about logging and degradation in Brazil, one thing is absolutely for sure. The people of Brazil have a fierce loyalty to Mother Nature unlike anywhere else in the world. While Brazil unfortunately faces huge amounts of industry and logging that threatens their forests, including the precious Amazon rainforest, there are people out there fighting to make sure the country has a bright and luscious future instead of a barren one. 
This awesome Brazilian couple regrew an entire forest in the Minas Gerais state in just 20 years, and their work is not done yet. Just by planting native plants and trees on the lifeless degrading Don't get plot of to land, beast, bro. Brazilian photojournalist Sebastião Ribeiro Salgado and his wife, Lelia de Luz Juanic Salgado, managed to revive their old cattle ranch and transform it into a living, breathing forest that boasts 300 species of trees and saw the return of over 170 species of birds. Yo, well freaking done. Well, well done to that. That's actually amazing, bro, but yo, Get someone like Mr. Beast in there, bro. And freaking make a whole other Amazon forest. <laughs> yeah, well done to them, bro. Well done, well done. That's crazy. They grew. Wait, so they grew all of this. Show what? Species of trees and saw the return of over 170 species of birds, 30 species of mammals, and 15 species of reptiles bro. and amphibians. That's right, this inspiring Brazilian couple brought a forest. They did that. Are you serious? It's back to life, and hopefully, many more all over the world will follow in their footsteps. There's only one planet Earth after all. We told you that Brazil was an awesome place. Yep, wow. this vibrant country is truly one of a kind. There's just nowhere else quite you like it correct, on the planet. Bro. We're officially adding Brazil to our bucket list. What about you guys? Why was no there are just so huh? many unexpected huh? things you'll only see here in Brazil. From epic rainforests teeming with rare and unique species what the to ancient hell is traditions that? in next level sports. Oh. This massive country really does have it all. So, have you guys ever been to Brazil? No. We want to hear all about I will it. Be that one. Maybe you live in Brazil and you've seen these unexpected things with your own eyes. Let us know in the comment section below. Wow, there was some very crazy things in there that, as you say, I only see in Brazil because this is Brazil, baby. But yo, um, I mean, those guys rebuilding like the forest, making it come back to life. That is absolutely amazing, bro. That freaking snake. No, thank you. We've got policemen on freaking buffaloes, bro. Yo, so, so much. And that waterfall as well. That massive waterfall thing. I want to see that. And that freaking thing where the, the sea, like the, I can't explain it, but you know what I mean. But yo, that is showing me even more that Brazil is absolutely unique, amazing country. And what is that? That is a huge ass horse, bro. <laughs> but yo, is that real? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. But yo, absolutely amazing, Brazil. Freaking awesome. If you have more reactions to Brazil, make sure to like and subscribe and ciao